Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Geese League. Welcome to a special episode of NCAA Go Wild Dynasty. It's the it's the season six wrap up of the irony. The irony, the pageantry. We end up in the overall polls as number two in the nation. You know, it's some there was a lot of lot of things going on. First thing I want to say, number one, we took the day off yesterday. We had to recollect after just dealing with that national title issue. Uh, second thing I want to tell you guys is my editor has been um is he's off for a couple weeks or something. So there hasn't been the overlays of the comments. So this episode we're gonna have some fun with it. I'm gonna in protect in particular in the last episode, there's some some great uh comments. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna read some of them throughout this episode because this could be like a, another uh, admin type episode, but let's let's see where we where things ended up here in terms of the the top 25 polls. Let's see if we're number two in every poll. I, I just, this is, this is the end cap on the season. 11 and two, 12 and two. I don't believe there, the boosters were saying they didn't even win the SEC. Media poll, we were number two. So Florida, I don't want to call it some, some inside numbers being run, but let's just see if they won their, their conference championship. I don't know if they did. They did not. They finished third in their conference, yet still won the national title. I think it's because they don't have a conference title game. I think that's, that's what happened. Anyways, so we're going to press forward here. We're going to wrap up recruiting. I, I, I enjoy these episodes. You know, there, there's just a lot going on. There's, there's some u unique things going on that we only get to do one time. So while that's going on, let, let me get, I'm going to show some booster love and from ewag777 says never period ever period throw period the ball period ever <laughs> jesse nagler responds with don't even pitch it look i know we're great at running the ball we got to keep teams Giannis though here here we go all right couple recruiting updates everyone locked us out yo we won the Lombardi, Rush for 2,000 in a season, won a bowl game, earned a BCS bowl bit. Rush, rank first in rushing yards allowed, three consecutive wins, first team All-American, beat a top five team. Yo, I wonder who are All-American? Freshman All-American, three plus sacks. Yo, let's take a look at some of these awards. This is why you, at the end of the season mystery episode, you never know what's gonna happen. Well, that's loading in. Christopher Peterson says where does Samson expect to go in the draft pick six <laughs> that's really good that's really good oh that, that gets a thumbs up for me all right you did it coach now there's some people in the live booster wire and discord said you did it coach everyone's impressed with the job we've extended you a contract extension so I don't know if we don't sign this I think we're in trouble but I would like to explore their option, the Koshi Carousel. But let's sign the contract and then just see what happens here. Security save. Look at look, look at those icons in the bottom. Conference championship bowl victory. 68 and 15 overall. Where's where's our con? Oh, what am I gonna sign a conference? Oh. Target wins per year nine. Four-year extension through 2022. We could sign it. You will not be able to select. Are you sure you want to continue with this contract? You will not be able to select another until this contract is completed. Yeah, we'll take it. Nine wins is, is, is a heavy ask, but look at our prestige. We'll sign it. All right. Hoshi Carousel, let's just see what happened. Let, you know, I'm hoping we got our coordinators. Let's do it again. Ohio State got canned. And Urban Meyer has retired from coaching. Yo, I wonder... It's pretty close to accurate, but he's not 74 years old. Build positions. We are Wyoming is very pleased with the coaching extension. Sign him to an early contract extension. All right, unexpected jobs. All right, so we got our contract out of the way. That that would that way the the individuals know that the recruits that are coming. Where's our all American? I guess we can't see it. All-time passing leader, Sampson's 52. Oh, tackle leaders. We had two in the top three solo tackles. 
We used to have this guy in, in Michigan State. He called himself the Sack Master. Because <laughs> he got, that's, I mean, before he played a snap, that's what he asked everyone to call him. Imagine how that went over. He ended up being a pretty good player. Anyways, let's press on when we go to players leaving here. Calm down, Paco says. I think anyone who's played a football game has tried to rush as a QB and use swimmer hurdle and end up throwing a, the ball right to a defender. All right, I got you, Matt Magnus. This quick pregame shout out to Chambers bringing North Texas to the New Orleans Bowl versus Georgia State in his first season ever, even if he took a 27-20 loss. That's yo, Brian J responded with deep lore. I'm with you on that. Hoodie Allen. Special request. Says, can you get rid of my son's goatee in the offseason? Thank you, coach. Ardell responds him, says your son looks 35. Goat post. I, we could do that. It, it, it's, it's, on, it's on the TDL to-do list. Um, take a look at hopefully none of our coordinators are leaving. Let's go to the Pac-12 here. Only thing we care about is Wyoming. Okay, we extended. Golden! Nate Woody. Where did, where did Coldon go? Akwali stayed. I wonder where he went. Let's see. We probably won't be able to crack any more cold ones open. Let's see if he became a head coach. Where did he go? Man, some of our, our coaching trees is out there. He went to a Big Ten universe? No. He went to Utah. Oh, yo, teacher versus student in the Utah matchup. The lore thickens. All right, players leaving. No, uh, Samson, please stay. All right, all seniors. Gordon, first rounder. D. Hughes, first rounder. Keenan, second rounder. All right, all seniors. Man, look at this. Look at this crew, man. Th this is a big crew here. Let's take a look at their overall who we're losing. Losing corner, wide out, wide out, strong safety. Henry, didn't use him that much. McKinney, our D line has just got decimated. Hope the, hope the next guys up are ready to play some ball. Does that mean? Does that mean Samson is staying one more year? All right, let's see here. Next one. Scott Witt says, we still have the Mountain West logo jersey on as a tribute to the past. Hey, you never forget where you're from. That's why, uh, never mind. All right, draft results. Let's see how many, these are, this is our first OKG. This is our class. Two first rounders. He used Keen in second round. Who's McKinney? Someone got a steal in McKinney. I wish it said what team they went to, but then that would be some cross licensing stuff. Yo, what does it say what pick? It doesn't. Just a first rounder. Two first rounders. And they, and they wonder why. We were we were disenfranchised so we didn't make the national title game. But that's all right. Well, it's a new season. No players transferring. So does that mean? Does that mean Samson rides one more time for the brand? I've been following the, the Wyoming football Twitter. They got all kind of hashtags ride for the brand that they actually had a video showdown of Vanderwall and Chambies going head to head in spring ball. All I did was respond to that so we know how this one ends. All right, hang in here. All right, we got, we got to finish up recruiting here. Yo. Draft pick in every round except the third. We almost hit for the cycle. That was a great recruiting class. Man, it'd be fun to go back and watch that us recruiting that class now knowing what they became. All right, so we, what do we have next? Let's go recruiting here. I think this is where we throw the kitchen sink at someone. If I am not mistaken. Oh, good though. It is, we have 15,000. So, let's sort by overall here. So we got our kicker. I mean, we probably need to get him. We're going to need some D linemen. We got some Ds. We got a lot of points. I think we just go after one big fella here. I mean, because we're locked out all these. All these tight ends. So. 
I think we would throw the kitchen sink at Rat. Left the number one corner in the nation. Will Williams, that'd be a good get. What if we split up, go five each on the top? I don't think anyone else we're overly excited about here. What position can this guy play? He doesn't want to play ball for us. Speed, strength, jumping. He's not a tackler. Is he big enough to be a tight end? 6 2 2 8, really small tight end. But he's not a tight end. So I think we go, I think we kitchen sink Ratliff. How far are we behind? I know I'm, I need to start getting used to this page here. We kitchen sink him. <laughs> what if we go 10,000 to him? And then go five and five. We go for quality, not quantity. I think that's a pretty good, I mean, that, that, those numbers don't add up. But if we get an 81 corner, um, I think we're, we'll probably split them. But really, we really need this corner because we lost cold on. We'll go eight and then the rest with everyone else. But these two. Because we're in the mix for these guys. And I think that rounds out. We'll probably have a top 25 recruiting, cl recruiting class. I don't think it's going to be a... I don't think it's going to be a top 10 recruiting class. I'm going to project like 17 or 18. So I'm going to give him... Let's give him like... Four dab. And give him the rest of the Sweeney. I, I'm okay with that. All right, so I like that. I think we only our only need now. I mean, I I, I feel feel like I don't want to say this, but I feel like we may have taken a step back in recruiting. I think we we are, we are spread too thin, like the contra spread gun in the NES classic contra just spread a little too thin, but we can pick up from that. You know, we the, the cupboard is not bare. I, I think that's the, the fair thing to say. Signing day. All right, this is the big one. Uh, right. Ryland Hansen said, if Samson comes back, I challenge you to throw for 25 TDs and only six picks to get him to that TD ratio of one to one. Yo, that's a good challenge. 25 TDs, six INTs. We would have to be so cautious and no, play no 50-50 ball. Adam Carter. <laughs> the Adam Carter. This Dang, that felt good. Not my best game, but we were good enough to win. Ain't nothing like winning in New Year's Day in Pasadena. Adam Carter taking time out of his busy spring schedule to comment on his own video that he's in. Smoking A. Jeffrey says, no need to get hung up on not making having a shot at the Natty this year. Yo. All right, we got the corner. We got Theo Ratliff. Will Williams did not want to play ball for us. Chad Wright. Yikes. And Ryan DeLuca. Man, we signed a top 10 class. Fill a team's need. Sign a top 10 prospect. Yo, I think that getting Ratliff was big. That's a, good, that's a good get for us. Let's eval our class here. Dunk -dunk. Oh, man, I'm excited. I'm exciting day. Let's take a look at... Let's take a look at the, the top classes here. Man, I can't believe we're top 10 in recruiting. I didn't think we were that good. Number seven, four five stars, four four stars, three eleven stars. Why did we why did we think we didn't have a great class? Ingram, Ratliff, that was a good get. We got a five-star DT Noble. This week I'm signed 19. It felt like such a sparse class. D don't disrespect the class. I what year is this? I don't know what year it is. Don't disrespect it. I'm excited, man. I'm 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 ready to go. I've, I've, hopes are high. Number two team in the nation finished just a little bit short of the ultimate goal. All right, this is a good one. Oh wait, the, the next Oak and A. Jeffrey says you have to turn Wyoming into a household name in a relatively short time. We can get them next year. Keep running your sets, yo. Smoke and A. Jeffrey, I appreciate. It. All right, let's go to the next stage here, coach. Position change. This is a big one. Because remember, whatever we change them to, that's what they're going to get better at. All right. Next next one's from Bo Hobson. It says, what if I told you a team from a flyover state could inspire the nation? That winning matters more than winning pretty. 
that grit, determination, and hard work matter more than the ability to throw the football. And that clutch defense stops matter more than turnovers. ESPN 30 for 30 presents Run Your Sets, the story of the Wyoming Dynasty. That's pretty good. <laughs> he did it in italics too, so I knew what voice he was using. All right, Samson comes back to ride one more time. All right, let's take a look at our positions. This is clutch. This is clutch melon right here. And Chuck Carter's a senior. That's sad to me. That's sad. Because the dude's a ball player. I, I love having him in the ball game. He's, he's our backup. Abrams, JJ Abrams. We do, we do not need another quarterback. I'll tell you that. Julius Brown was the number one. Was the number one recruit in the nation. He's going to be riding the pine for two straight years. All right. So we're probably going to move J.J. Abrams. This guy cannot play another position. Unless he can play defense. Can he? Cannot. I mean, this guy could be the future, but he's got a long way. I just wasn't expecting Samson to stay. But hey, we'll take him. All right, halfback, Carter, Slaughter, Goins coming off a tough loss for Michigan State. Clint Williams, he's speed. He's a speed back. Man, we have way to get this guy's getting cut. Sorry, bud. All right, we need one of these guys to play corner. All right, it's not you. Can Goins play corner? Ooh, he could potentially be a free safety. We just don't, I mean, there's a big gap there. I mean, it'd be great if one of these guys could play corner. They're just speed guys, man. And he's getting cut. Let me write his name down just so I don't forget. So here, we got to think about now and also the future. So he is definitely the future. He's the backup to the future. And can we go get a better player than Goins? I think so. So for now, let's just slide him over to free safety. I don't know what our free safety looks like. Ward, he's got a long way to go. But he's got some speed. We'll see. All right, fullback position. I like it. Wide receiver position. Hoodie Allen Jr. We get, we're going to clean up his look a little bit. He's going to he's gonna have a little maturation process. All right. So he's our best. Mays, Donaldson, Gavin Parker. Are any of these guys speed? Man, we, next season, we're going out and recruiting speed wide out. We're cutting these two guys. Harris and Riviero. So maybe we move one of those these QBs to wide out. Maybe Carter. Yikes. Abrams? Could he be speed? He could be a speed wide out. Let's just move him there for right now. But then who's the future? We're putting it all on Julius Brown then. I don't know how I feel about that. But let's take a look at the... Where, how do we look with Carter there? Where is he? Oh, he's Abrams. He doesn't even crack the line up here. But he's speed. Not really. Just move him back. Because he's going to be the guy eventually. All right. Tight end. Looking very sparse. We can't run a two tight end set. We have the Pendleton and that's it. All right. So before we do anything else, I, I feel like we always make the mistake. Yo. To not dole out the athletes where they're needed. He's a 80 QB. Is that all he could play? Or he could be a good man. Hear me out. What if we move him to what if we move him to quarterback, red shirt him, and then move Jay Brown somewhere else? Can't man. Why did we recruit this kid? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I mean, we could move Abrams to wide out. Man, we're going to have a quarterback issue next year. Move Abrams to wide out. He's going to get better. Julius Brown. 
Nah, I think here's what we do. Move Ingram. Quarterback. We'll redshirt him. Noble. Yo. That's a... He, yo. This, that's a thick lineman. All right. Could he be a tight end? 62 tight end. Oh, we got a bunch of linemen. I like him. S. Bell. What's he best at? Defense. Another lineman. Or strong safety. All right. So our athlete, the athletes we have are all defensive players. All right. Good. Let's take a look at our left tackle situation. Wilcox. I feel like he's been on the our team forever. Left guard situation. Center. We got a lot of good centers here. So we're going to... We're going to slide some of these guys around here. So we need a left guard for sure. He's a 71 at left guard. 71 at left guard. I need somewhere where there's no drop off. All right, so Robert Charles is not going to be the guy there. Maybe he'll be a great backup left guard. And this guy's kind of a waste here. So I don't know where else we need him. So center, we can move some guys around. Right guard, we have a 77 and a 75. He is now, our, I believe, our starting left guard. Ah. We do need a backup left tackle. Could he be a backup LT? Yes. Got to think about... See, this This the, to me, I love this part. Because this is like, you want to win now, but you also got to protect the future. Like left guard's going to be a little bit Minkus next year. Unless this guy could play anywhere. He's a 73 center. What's our center at? 78. I wonder if this guy could start somewhere else and be a big time player. So he's a he's a 75 tackle. He's looking good. We're going to have to red shirt this guy. All right, we want to be all right here's what we got we want to be too deep too deep good at lineman we could red shirt him put him just throw him as a minkus backup at left guard because he's not gonna play hmm so we need to move one of these guys to a power position for next year So he's going to be... So if we move him to a left guard, he's 71. He's same situation here. We have a lot of centers. So where are we sparse here on our line? In the future. Right guard, we're a little sparse down the road. Right tackle, we're also a little sparse. So we need to add a young right guard and a young right tackle. Move him to right tackle. Leave him at center because he's a one-trick pony. So he's going to... All right, so I like this. Here's here's real. Solid with the great backup. Left guard. Solid with the solid backup at left guard. Center. Good. Hmm. That's kind of a small tackle. So really, our only concern here is left guard, right? But that's a huge drop off next year. Do we have anything better than a 71 as a backup? If so, we need to move him. And we don't. Not really. Yo, that's the move there. Yo. Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. That was the clutch melon. There was always a move. Good. I like that. So Jones is going to play next year. Good. I think we got all of our best aligned in there. Rutledge, you'd like to see somewhere, but... All right, here we go. Left end. Jeremy Alexander, Concepcion. Right end. The left end is what? An 81? Yeah, you'd rather have the senior get some sauce in there. 
will probably take over next year. I'm okay. We're not, I mean, we're, we don't look like McKinney and, and Hutch, but we're okay here. Miller. Yo, D. Thomas, you just hate to. He's going to buy this time inside, I'll tell you that. Probably, we'll probably slap a red shirt on him. He could be. So these two are the future. Thomas and Williams are the future. And Weaver, kind of the odd man out. But I like having three D, D tackles. You need about four good ones. All right, left outside backer. You'd like to see a little bit better out of that, but we're going to have to cut one of these guys. Probably two of them. We're probably going to cut Jones here if we have to because he's a redshirt freshman and he's only a 71. Right outside backer. D Wood is going to get cut. He just. So we're going to cut D Wood. Let me see what. If we can move one of these middles over. 69. But he's a true freshman, 69. Yeah, D Wood's going to get cut. So I think backer. I think backer actually kind of weak here. 79. 81. We need to move one of these guys as a backup in the middle. That's That looks a little bit better. So left outside. You know, actually, you know what? We're pretty young there. Middle backer. Got a backup there. That guy's kind of the odd man out. Benson, Joan, these, these two guys got to watch themselves. They're both on the cut bubble. All right, corner. Yo, that's what we had to go out and get a great corner right there. The starting corner, Rat Donaldson and Ratliff. Burks, Brown. We're going to cut some of these guys. Warren's on the cut list. And E. Hall, definitely getting cut. Sorry. Uh, yeah, because we're only going to lose one. Probably E. Hall is going to be the one that gets cut. Free safety. Yikes. Yikes. Yo, okay, we need we need some help and strong safety. So let's look at our free safeties. He's a junior. Who did we just slide over? Two juniors. Guess it doesn't matter on that one. Hmm. Yikes. All right, so we're going to need, we need help at free safety and strong safety long-term. Kicker's back. New kicker, I'm sorry. Thomas Sellers. All right. So he's an immediate help where? Yo. D tackle is 78. Or he could play offensive line. All right, so really this guy's offensive line, defensive line. 78. We have a spot for him at 78. A starting spot at 78. Could be a right guard. Sorry, Lorenzo. We may make him a right guard. 79. Could be used there long term, but... He would be in the mix there, too. Alright, so I think we make him, what we said, left guard. 78. Right guard, 78. Right guard 78. Hey, look, the best play when they ride for the brand. Hang in here. Oh, he's a 76. Hold on here. That throws a wrinkle in our lineups here. 76 left guard. I mean, right guard. I think we put him there and have him sit. Because otherwise he's a 78. I think he, I think he's our backup for next year. I think that's the play. Just double check. Although he does make the most impact. Makes the most impact at defensive tackle. The 78 freshman. 
See, the other two freshmen, I, I can I can get behind on that. But is he going to play? We moved him to right guard. Right now, we don't have a, a, a backup right guard. So he's going to sit two years at right guard or sit one year. I think that's... I, look, it's what's best for the team. It's probably not what's best for the kid, but it's what's best for the team to do that. Let's go athlete here. Scott Bell. Free safety. Strong safety. Put him at strong safety. How do we look there now? We look better. Yeah, I like that. We got to cut. So keep Bell and then athletically... D. Walker. We could pump him in there at DT. See what if we pump him in at his best position there. Let's see how we look here. So DT for the future. So these two are gone. Then we're left with four four guys that need to season. I like that. I like that a lot, actually, because these two are going to hold it down. I like it. So let's do one quick review here. I just want to make sure offensively we're okay here. Quarterback, Sampson with a solid backup. Ingram and Brown are going to have to duke it out. Ingram will get redshirted. Halfback, starter, starter. McDowell cut. Uh, Carter is going to be a special one. The question is who's going to be the next guy. Wide receiver, I feel a little weak on. We're going to have to go get a fullback next year, too. We may have to. We'll be running some pro this year. All right. Hoodie Allen is our best overall receiver. 5-5. Five, five. Look, next season, I, I'm having a recruiting tab. Speed wide receiver is what we need. We need a speed wide receiver. We need a tight end. Those are our top two priorities. All right. So we have possession balanced in maze. Donald's in possession. We just don't have any burners. Freshman's going to start. Maybe our weakest. I'm just going to call it. it. Since we've been here, our weakest wide receiving core. And, and two cuts. So the question is, can we move anyone here? Can't. We're a little depleted. At the skill position. Because none of these guys could play. I had to at least take a look at it. We're exploring all options. Julius Brown. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be an interesting... We got no ball. I mean, no disrespect to our receiving court. Well, we got we got a year. We, got a, we have a training season, too. All right. So we got that locked in. All right. Advance to the next stage. Training. This is the big one. Who who's putting in that hard work in the off season? Who's throwing up the weights? Who's running those extra forties? Who's doing the hang cleans? Man, this, this how's this game? You gotta remember. So this is NCAA 2014. This game was created in 2013. Still stands the test of time. Now who who put in the extra extra work? Samson got a little bit faster. Not as much acceleration as we wanted. How does he have 99 awareness? All right. I like to just look at it by position here real quick. Just see who was working hard. Harder, man. Pushing the envelope. I won't. I'm not opposed. If things go off the trail. Yo. Okay. These two guys are working their tails off. I like I like our, our running back. Before. Now. ODL and a 91 sophomore. All right, he's going to get a new jersey number. Mays working hard. Donaldson, Mansfield, Parker. I would have liked to see seen Hoodie Allen outwork everyone, but you know what? He's going to record premiere parties instead of putting in that extra time. Pendleton is a 90. Left tackle. I like it. Left guard. Carpenter. 67311 out of Streamwood, Illinois, Twitch, Michigan. Hang in here. Right guard putting in work. Right tackle. Left end, Concepcion. Yo, he's pushing him. Tristan Thompson. 
I love seeing these guys you just push each other. Plus six, Keenan. He made the jump. Left outside backer. Need a little bit more work there. Two solid middles. And two seniors, though. Benson, I like to see get up in the 80s. Corner. Donaldson. Yo, they might have squeezed that. They might have squeezed the, uh, the, the freshman. Ratliff out of it. Finley, I like it. 81. Kicker did not get better because he didn't he doesn't have the access. So who is our who gets our hardworking award? Pl Carpenter was plus six. Do we have any plus sevens? Keenan was plus six. Powers was plus six. Offensive line went to work. Jones. I don't see any plus sevens. Ward and Powell. I like it, man. I like it. You, you take it, you advance to the next stage. It's it's the time. It's the time of the week that no one likes. Get out the scissors, snip, snip. Brian J, MSU must have lost three to four straight to end the season. They were top ten a few weeks ago. Virtual D'Antonio on the hot seat. Hopefully we don't have to cut, but if we do we got it, we got a cut list. These are guys that skipped class and didn't work out. We gotta cut six. There's there's six on the list here. Uh, we are not cutting any one half back. McDowell, sorry, bud. Williams may was he on the list? He was not on the list. Pull back, we can't cut. We gotta cut five more guys. These are too easy. Snip, snips. Snip. Snip. <laughs> Tight end, we can't cut any. Left tackle, we're good. I don't think we cut any at, at the line position. Um, no, D tackle. Nah, I like it. We we got some we got some solid guys pushing in left outside backer. Adams, Adams, you gotta watch himself. Middle backer. Four star. We can't cut a four star. Let them duke it out. D Wood is on the cut list. Corners. Yep. These are two easy cuts. Eric Hall. 69 overall. Look at that speed, though. You know what? I would cut Warren. Ratliff, yeah, Ratliff got outworked. Um, how many corners? We probably need to carry about five corners max. So do we think he could get plus four and become better than Warren? Good question. We gotta cut two more. Maybe we don't have to make that tough decision. Strong safety. Yep. DeLuca. Snip snip. Snip snip. Three star. Sorry, bud. I mean, if we were being super greedy, we'd cut him. But we're not going to do that. Unless you got a seven in front, you're probably getting cut. No 60s on the team. Let's make sure there's no 60s lingering. Yo, Jonathan White. He, he survived. He survived the snip. All right. Uh, that wasn't as hard as we thought, you know. So we're sorry. We if if you got cut, you still we'll still on your academic scholarship. I will say this: if we win the Pac-12 again this year, we'll probably go visit another conference if the phone rings. Just saying. I got our 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 two recruiting. I know you can't see it because the bright lights. Our two recruiting things. It says speed wide. Wide receiver and tight end. That's what we need. I think everywhere else we're pretty solid. We'll we'll do a little more roster eval here in a minute. Dunk, dunk, dunk. All right, let's hit let's hit the wire here. Uh, Matt Magnus said, "Let's go, boys. No matter what bowl we play, and I am proud. Let's run our sets. I'll, I'll drop the heart on that one." Cody Osteen five shouldn't have scheduled Georgia. If you had put a cupcake on the schedule, be playing for the Natty. That we don't do that around here. We don't schedule cupcakes. Oh, we also need to. Re Hire a new D coordinator. Who will be will be named later. Custom conferences, BCS bowl tie-ins. I think we're good. 
just take a look at our conference. Yeah, Pac-12. So I want to see why the SEC did not play a championship game. I don't get that. They should have played one. Maybe they did. I don't know. Okay. But maybe they didn't. Florida just didn't get in. BCS, I don't think we messed with any of this. Advance to the next stage. Preseason. You know what that means? Time for scheduling. Just some guy says 0 .006. We will be there next year. Coach, it's been great being a booster so far. Yo, thank you for filling up the envelopes. Crone Chris says, not even mad about not being in the national championship. Give us a great goal for next season. I'm with you on that one. Oregon's Freeman says, congrats on a huge season, Coach. I'm a little worried about how we recover if Samson is gone next year. Well, looks like we don't have to worry about that. NCAA record for picks in a career is 80. Samson could break that current record. The current record holder is 16 plus more, 1,600 more attempts than Samson. If he returns, please do not throw more than 18 picks. That's not a record Samson wants. So we got to go 25 and six ions. If we throw 18 more picks, we set a record. All right. Let's take a look at red shirting here. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so let's let's get our roster set here. Samson, slap a red shirt on him. I have no more red shirts to burn in the backfield. None in the fullbacks. Just heads up, if you don't understand the red shirt concept, in college football, you can play four years. If you put a red shirt on a player, they get one year extra to just get better but that they will not play in any games so you, essentially you have five years to play four if that makes sense or you cannot redshirt because the player is too good we can't redshirt any of them yellow means we can redshirt them no means he was never redshirted that's a risk i would be willing to take we can always pop it off right guard we don't want to burn a year of eligibility. And you always, to me, you always want to redshirt the younger guy because they have more years to develop. I guess it, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'd like to go too deep at the position, but we're okay. Right end. D tackle. Double redshirt, boys. Redshirt. Middle backer. One of these guys has got to step up. Right outside backer. Corner. He gets one year to get real good, real fast. Finley was never red shirted. S Bell slap a red shirt on him. Kicker's good to go. True freshman. All right, that was pretty easy. We're getting better as this as, as time progresses forward. Um dun, 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 dun. All right. Let's first off, let's let's open up our schedule. Look, they 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 put all these cupcakes on our schedule here. All right, so first and foremost, let's see how many home games. Play Stanford at home. Oh, number five Stanford, you mean? Um, at UCLA, that's at home versus Washington, home versus Colorado State, at Washington State, home versus Oregon. Home versus Utah. Cold on comes home and at California. All right, so I can I promise we're gonna have a lot of home games. So every every conference game we're playing home. I wouldn't mind taking on Revenge Tour. We're number one. We're preseason number one. We're preseason number one. Maybe we don't need that game. Nah, we need that game. That's revenge tour. Hubris taking over. And we want a home game early in the season. You no, know, maybe we sit out week one. Maybe we sit out week one so we can take advantage of that and then get a solid home game for recruiting. I mean, I want to play someone respectable. 
But also, you gotta let's start thinking like Alabama. What does Alabama do the first couple games? You get someone like UTEP on the schedule. But is that gonna fill any seats either? I think like we got a little bit of rivalry with East Carolina. LSU could be a little dangerous. Louisville. We get we gave him the home and home series. That that's that's uh Chambers. Get this out of here. As much as I do want to play him, we are the number one ranked team in the nation. Stanford home game against North Texas at UCLA. We want a late home game, or we probably want an early home game for recruiting. Against a team we can light it up on. Just throwing that out there. At the same time, I want to be able to get up for a game, you know? Like, I don't want to play South Alabama, no disrespect. Texas Tech, they just beat Michigan State. Um, Play Vandy. Let's play a team that at least has a good logo. Uh, I go Texas Tech, they, they'll bring in some nice jerseys. Not playing a top 25 team. I feel like, you know what? I want to play someone good, but we got to be smart about it. I want, man, you guys have no no idea how bad we want that Georgia game. But I, I feel like, we, you know what? Home against Georgia. Man, but look at, look at our conference. We play Oregon, UCLA, Stanford. I feel like that's asking too much of our guys. Oh, Houston, get these guys out of here. Hmm. We want a home game late in the season. We have Utah. We start out with the bye week. Let out, let all the chips wrap around. I like that. Our first game, number five, Stanford. Do we need a? We probably need a. We need a warm up game. We could invite. Who's a great warm-up team here? <laughs> Whoever we pick is utterly disrespected. Home game against Western Michigan. I'm just trying to think what what a, a SEC or Big Ten team would do. So we have Western Michigan, North Texas, and Georgia. Give me open this thing up. Man, that's, that's a gauntlet here. I want to put a big dog right here. Uh, I, I mean, we, it's ours to lose, right? So we're the number one team in the nation. We got Stanford. We got North Texas. Let's put a... We're going to buy a week probably after there to heal up. And then we want a game week 12. Probably want a game at the end of the season. Those aren't quality opponents, though. Home game late in the season. Would rather have a home game. No, nah, we probably have a home game early in the season. Put Central Michigan on there, and that Georgia. Keeps. I feel like if we don't do it, it's like, and say we make the national championship, it's like the road's got to go through Georgia at this point. I feel we signed a home and home. I know some people are going to be questionable on that. But look, we don't want to duck anyway. Here's our non conference Western North Texas, Georgia. We don't have any more, right? That's. I like to go North Texas, then Western. If they have a home, get hit, get them off real quick. Yeah, yeah, home and home. And then can we get a Western in here? I like that much, 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 much. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we're playing Utah too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. North Texas. 
home and home series. That's like when someone leaves the Saban tree, they come back and try to take a shot. They get stomped. North Texas, Stanford, Western UCLA, Georgia. Doesn't give us a lot of time to regroup. You know what? There it is. A B-plus schedule. We're going after him here. And I think we're set up the recruiting board. And I think we're going to do that in the next... Oh, uh, you know what? We'll, here's what we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll end up... We'll edit our roster here a little bit. We'll, we'll end with just changing up two play ors. Number one, we will never change a, a true freshman. You got to earn it. So we're looking to change up Carter. Yeah, let's get him dressed up properly here. Adam Carter, first things first, give him a better jersey number. I don't like number one for running back. Could give him the Aquali special. Or we could give him like a... What number? Carter's got some sauce, so he's got to be a, a lower number. We're going to give him a single digit for sure. Seven is more of like a wide receiver safety. I could see him wearing three at number AC3. What else we got? Did he get? No, oh, someone's got a two. Give him AC3. All right, then let's go ahead and give him a little bit of sauce here. Don't care about that. Don't care about his appearance. Okay, this is what we care. Get that out of here. No, no good players on our team are going to wear revolution helmets. We were standard robots. Robots is the best you can, you can get here. That, that, this is my favorite face mask of all time right here. Look at that. The two bars there and there. Pfizer. Yes, sir. We give him a dark Nike. There we go. All right. So that I think left sleeve. Nah. We need to get if he's going to be sauced, let's give him sauced. I don't want no, no sleeves. I go bottom sleeve. Right sleeve. He's got to be symmetrical there. All right. I think that's pretty good for him. That's a, that's a definite upgrade. And we're going to spat him up. Yeah. <laughs> Give him. Yo. The two tone. That's me. That's what that, that's like. To me, that's like, uh, you got to be a, a heavy back to do that, though. Give me. Yeah, give him, give him a little sauce there. We'll go white thin. All right, he's good to go. Back plate standard. Give him a towel. There we go. He's ready to play ball. All right. He's good to go. One player changed. And we also said we were going to change up due to a parental request. But he Allen needs to be, he's got to be cleaned up here. We're, we're very straightforward. You know, he, he's number one. Get rid of this jersey number. He's earned. I've, he's earned it. Now the question is, does he step in? There, there's always got to be a wide out in Wyoming in the great number 13 or does he try to establish his own identity? 
He's not getting one, I'll tell you that. That's reserved for a speed wide out. I feel like we got to give him the Ock Wally. <laughs> I feel like, but he blocks though. That's the difference. So Ock Wally's number for the first time is going to be open. I think we give him seven. All right, seven. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm a new face here though. <laughs> that, that was... Has he adapted to life in Wyoming here? Let's see here. G give us give us a better look here, kid. A little thinning on top there. There we go. He, he, he's he's got himself cleaned up. He's got a good. We need a better face mask for him. We're not gonna give him robot, but. Maybe give him the Drew Brees. Nah, give him the Drew Brees. Not nah, full cage. Give him robot. That's a sign of respect. But I feel like let's give him the Drew Brees. That's the Drew Brees. Give him that one. Pfizer. Shoulder pad height. That always looked weird to me. He's where he wears. Yeah, that looks better. Sleeve. I will say this, we gotta shoot, we gotta, we gotta give him a knee break. Didn't he get hurt? We gotta give him some, he's gonna keep the arm brace on. We'll give him, we'll give him some team color bands here. And then he, he wants to give him some high socks. Um, socks. Can we change the color? Give him high socks and then... I'll give him a hand warmer for respect. But I will say this. Left knee. heck is that elbow he definitely is gonna have elbow brace for sure um he's been banged up I want to get a, a knee a knee brace on him maybe because he has the color bands he can't Black jacket, yeah. Black jacket. Back plate. Gonna give him a little beef there. What if we go... Low socks. No bands. And then see if we can get the braces on. <laughs> Hang in here. Because he's been hurt. He's been hurt. So we got to make sure he's protected. And right, you know, his, his parents said, hey, can you change his jersey? And give him a couple ankle braces. <laughs> Let's just see what he looks like here. Hang in here, coach. Look, let's take a look, see how we look here. Give him a black one there. All right. The new number one receiver. Can I get a look at him here, coach? We're not going to change. He's been through a lot of it as a sophomore, but got his, all his protective gear on. Nonetheless, it looks like he lost some weight. We didn't need that, coach. Nonetheless, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this admin episode, 
Encourage you guys to fill up the booster likes. I'll see you guys tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, when we take on our first opponent. North Texas and Chambers coming hot off a bowl loss.